morning, everybody. This is Annie. I am a witness for Jesus Christ, and I am also a prayer warrior. Praise God. Praise God. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in Him today. As you see, I have my head covered. Today, I have my day off from work, and I am going to rest in the Lord all day. I'm speaking Psalm 91 into my life today. Praise God. I'm going to be obedient to Him, praising Him and worshiping Him all day, every day. So that is why I have my head covered. The other thing I like to say before we get started, I know we are going over the book of Psalms. We are on chapter 49, praise God, out of the New Living Translation. But as I like to say in most of my videos, get anointed. If you have olive oil and you are not doing anything that is separating you from the love of Jesus Christ, Anoint your olive oil, or, or pray over your olive oil, and anoint yourself. Put on the oil of peace. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. Put on joy. Anoint yourself with the most oil of joy as anybody could have. Wisdom. Praise God. Speak wisdom. Look in the mirror and put your finger in the oil and anoint yourself. Praise God. Mm. There is a supernatural realm. And we don't see through our spiritual eyes. We see through our physical eyes. But there is a war. Praise God. Hallelujah. And thank God for Jesus. He won the war. So you are going to anoint yourself in the supernatural realm to let every spiritual demonic spirit know you have been bought by the blood of Jesus. Praise God. The other thing I like to say in my videos is drink water. Mm. Water refreshes, water revives, water purifies. Water is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Water wakes you up, water cleans you out. Jesus is our living water, praise God. So let's get started here. Chapter 49 out of the New Living Translation. If you like my videos, hit the little subscribe button, hit the little bell, it'll tell you every time I have a video, and share it with your friends and family. If you can look up in my past videos, I have a video out there that takes communion. And if you don't take communion with the Lord, because you don't go to church, you can take communion on one of my videos. And it just kind of helps you understand chap 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Who? Mm, of acknowledging that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Who? And his blood was shed for you. You are purified, sanctified. You are bought by the blood of Jesus. So dedicating yourself, laying any sin at the foot of the cross, and walking in victory. Listen to all this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world, high and low, rich and poor. Listen, for my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. I listen carefully to many proverbs and solve riddles with inspiration from a heart. Why should I fear when trouble comes? When enemies surround me, they trust in their wealth and boast of great riches. Yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come so easily for no one can ever pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. Those who are wise must finally die, just like the foolish and senseless, leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home, where they all will stay forever. They may name their estates after themselves, but their fame will not last. They will die just like animals. This is the fate of fools, though they are remembered as being wise, like sheep, they are led to the grave where death will be their shepherd. In the morning, the godly will rule over them. Their bodies will rot in the grave, far from their grand estates. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become even more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and are appalled by their, for their success. 
mm, applauded for their success, but they will die like all before them and never again see the light of day. People who boast of their wealth don't understand they will die just like animals. In Jesus' name, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, do not trust in your money. Do not trust into the things of the world. Your only hope is in Jesus, eternally living a life for him for eternity. And that is a very long time. So praise God surrender your life today. Praise God. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you are ready to have a relationship with him, and I'm not talking about being religious. I am talking about the finished works of the cross. I'm talking about seeking the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and everything else will be added. Repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner, and right now, I ask that you please forgive me. I know that you died on the cross for my sins and the sins of the world. And today, Jesus, I give you all my sins and thank you that you forgive me. Today, I open my heart to you. Please come in, sit at the throne of my heart today, and help me live a life for you. Mm, in Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I thank you right now for anybody that comes across this video that has not accepted you into their life. I ask that your healing power, that your presence come upon them today, Lord. I ask that your grace and your mercies that are new every morning come over them today, lifting every oppression, depression, suicidal thoughts, anything that is not of you. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I am speaking to somebody named Sam today. The Lord Jesus wants to let you know how much he adores you, how much he is going to make you know how much he cares about you. You are going to receive a breakthrough and a miracle in your life today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, if there's a Jacqueline, he is speaking to a Jacqueline. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you hurt your wrist the other day, he is going to touch you now. Receive your healing. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who? Mm, let Jesus be your shepherd today. Let Jesus guide and direct your steps today. Let the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, become alive inside of you today. Hallelujah. Directing your path. Hallelujah. Mm, seek Jesus first in all you do. I love you all. Jesus Christ, I'm telling you. Whew, he loves us all even more. Remember, Jesus Christ, he is Lord and your soul is well. Bye now.